Welcome to our quick setup guide for the minimum and maximum quantity for WooCommerce plugin. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly configure plugin features, including setting minimum and maximum product quantities, managing user-specific rules, and much more. Let's get started. After installing and activating our MinMax Quantity plugin, navigate to the MinMax Quantity menu and visit the Manage Rules section. Here, you can define and create multiple min-max quantity rules based on product, category, or other limitations by clicking the Add New button. For this example, we've already created a rule, so let's edit it by clicking here. In the Rule Configuration settings, when creating a new rule, you must first enable the toggle. Then, define a rule name for admin purposes to easily identify the rule. In the Advanced Rule section, you need to create groups to define the conditions and actions for the min-max quantity limitation. Ensure the group toggle is enabled, otherwise, it won't apply on the front end. Inside the group, you'll find two sections here, Condition and Action. In the Condition section, you can set different criteria for when the rule should apply, such as product-specific rules, location-specific rules, specific users, or time frames. You can also create rules based on cart-specific elements like shipping methods, shipping zones, or coupons. In this example, we've created a simple rule based on a specific product. You can select product and choose one or multiple products from the list. Now, in the action section, you can define the minimum, maximum, step, default quantities, and the quantity selector for the product page. You can choose from a drop-down, radio button, or use the default input. Once done, scroll down and let's save the settings by clicking on this button. Now that the settings are saved, let's go to the settings page before moving to the front end. On this page, you can apply global rules required for checkout. If you have any minimum or maximum order quantity limitations, define them here. For instance, if you've set a minimum order quantity of 10, users must meet that quantity to complete the checkout process. Similarly, you can define here minimum or maximum order values, number of product items and configure some other checkout settings like exclude products, hide checkout button, etc. The next tab is Messages where you can customize the messages shown to users when global rules are applied. By default, it will display some default messages, but if you want to change them, then you can do it from here. After that, we have the, the Display Rules tab, where you can enable the option to display all applied minimum and maximum rules on product and cart pages by toggling on these options. This can ensure customers are fully aware of the quantity rules, helping them understand the requirements for their purchases. Now that we've reviewed all the required settings, let's check the front end to see these configurations in action. So we are now on the shop page of our WooCommerce store. Let's take a look at the minimum and maximum rules we've applied. We've set up our rule for this specific product, so let's click here to visit the product detail page. On the product page, you can see that our min-max quantity rule is applied based on the configuration. The message here clearly shows the rule, such as the minimum required quantity and a maximum of 10, as well as the step quantity. You can also see that the step quantity increases by 2, 4, or 6 as per the setup. Let's add 6 items to the cart to proceed with checkout. Now, let's try to add 6 more items, or 8 more items. As you can see, we have a maximum limit of 10, so we cannot add more than 10 items to the cart. As we attempted to add more than 10 items of this product, the system did not allow it and displayed an error message. Now, let's visit the cart page. Here, you can see some checkout rules applied, as configured from the global settings. All the rules are listed in a table format such as requiring a minimum of 10 and a maximum of 20 items to proceed with the order. As you can see, currently, there are only 6 items in the cart. And, to complete the checkout, we require a minimum of 10 products in the cart, as specified in the checkout rules. So now, let's go back to the shop page and add more products to the cart. 
For example, I'll add 8 items of this other product and view the cart again. Let's click on this view cart link to visit the cart page. Now, we've met all the other rules required for checkout, like having a total of 6 and 8 items in the cart, and the order value is within the required range. So we can now proceed to checkout. Click on this proceed to checkout button to visit the checkout page. Here you can fill in all the required billing details, and then place an order by clicking on this button here. So yes, as you can see, the minimum and maximum quantity plugin helps guide customers to make purchases by setting minimum or maximum purchase limitations. I hope this video was helpful in getting you started with the minimum and maximum quantity for WooCommerce plugin. For premium plugins, visit our website and to test the plugin click on the link below given in the description. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.